Understand from the beginning, the way we develop this class is to be more along the lines of a fighting carbine. So I'm gonna orient myself to the target. So I know I'm shooting the target on the left. So I'm already prepped myself there. There's no point for me to be this way to then have to turn and move. This is my, essentially my gross sight picture that I'm establishing. At this point, I'm gonna move, set up, already orient the rifle in the direction of the target. Same thing we went over before. Points of contact, drive the hips if need be, and one, two, three, four, five, and shoot from there. We go back to the 100, we reshoot this so you're not engaging the target that you did not positively identify to be yours. What are the steps you're gonna take? So I'm gonna turn and observe and orient. And then once I see what I have, if I'm able to get a shot off at one power, I will. If not, at 100 yards, I will go to six power with, yep. with this particular optic. Yep, max out that variable optic just to positively identify, right? So points of contact, that's the name of the game with positional shooting. Like the more points of contact you can get, the better you'll be. It is okay if you wanna use your optic to decide. So don't feel like you gotta squint and really try and see the target and then be like, oh, I don't wanna raise my gun at the target. When we get back there and shit like that, you're not gonna be positively identifying naked eye. Gain your optic, not my target, I'm shifting. Finger off the trigger, safety's on. Once I'm on, I've decided to engage that target, safety's off, I intend to fire, fingers on the trigger and I'm prepping. Make sense?